Well, I'm not sure anyone can protect her. Pilar, don't worry. I'll handle things. And in fact, I should call Sheridan and let her know what happened. Well, you can use the phone in my room if you'd like. Thanks. Mama, don't worry. Everything is going to be fine. How can you say that? The Crane and Hotchkiss families are going to be furious about this. And Gwen and her mother are absolutely beside themselves. Have you talked to them? Oh, Rebecca Hotchkiss was here earlier. We had a fight. A fight? Yes. She said terrible things about you, Teresa. I slapped her. Oh, Mom. Yes. God forgive me, but I lost my temper. Teresa, she's a vicious woman, and she hates you. And not just Rebecca, but Gwen, too. Not only did you steal the man she loves, but you betrayed her friendship. I know, Mama. And I, I feel bad for that. But Ethan and I are in love, Mama, and that's all that matters. We are in love, and we are going to be married. Married? Yeah. Ethan has proposed? No, no, not yet. But he will. Teresa, I think you're getting a little ahead of yourself. No, Mama, I'm not. I know what's going to happen. And by the end of this year, I'm going to be Mrs. Ethan Crane. Ethan, I'm glad you called. I've been trying to reach you. Oh, I wanted you to hear before it hits the fan and you hear from the whole family. I already know. You finally called off the wedding. Gwen was here. Well, how was she? I've never seen her so torn up. Not only was she heartbroken, but she was furious. She even told Hank she was going to kill Teresa. Kill her? She didn't mean it. Hank got her to calm down. I'm sure she just needed to vent. I've never seen her so angry, and who could blame her? I can't blame her at all. She has every right to hate me. Well, she hates Teresa, not you. I'll talk to Gwen. Look, you're going to have a lot of pressure from Julian and Ivy and Alistair and Gwen's mother. This is going to be a terrible time for you. Sheridan, I can handle it. No, they've already tried to stop me from calling off the wedding in the first place, but they failed. I just hope you know what you're doing. Oh. I just have to straighten everything out. And then I have to decide which woman I want to marry. You mean you haven't decided yet? Do you really think Gwen is going to want you after this humiliation? No, I, I don't know. But all I know is that I couldn't marry Gwen when I have such strong feelings for Teresa. No, that wouldn't be fair. But one of them is going to have to lose. So whose heart are you going to break, Ethan? I honestly don't know. But I have to make a decision. Reese, you must be mistaken. Who could have moved the boulder? It was huge! No, it, it was right here, Simone. And that must have been the sound we heard. The boulder somehow rolling into the mine shaft. What was that? I don't know. But I don't like it. Look out! It might be a cave-in! Oh my gosh! The dirt around the edge of the shaft is starting to cave in. The, the boulder must have bounced to the mine and, and it's starting to cave in. Miguel and Charity are down there in that mine shaft. Oh, oh no, dear. No, I called down there before you and Reese arrived, and I got a good view of the bottom before the boulder fell in, and I didn't see a sign of anyone. Oh, well, that's a relief. Yeah, but where do you think they could have went? I knew pushing that boulder down the shaft was a good idea. It just took a while to take effect. Does it take effect? Jimmy, 
So what are you gonna do about Shard? I don't know. I don't know. It just it kills me. There's a shadow hanging over us. Yeah, I can imagine, but uh I know you, Luis. You can't let this go. You've gotta settle this once and for all. Yeah. That's what we have to do. We gotta talk about it again. You better get that, bro. It's probably one of your stable of girlfriends. Yeah, very funny. Yeah, this is Hank. Hank? This is Pierre. I work for Roger. Look, I told you guys that I want no part in that. Unfortunately, you have no choice. Would you prefer it if I went to your brother, the chief of police, and gave him the information we have on you? Well, uh, no, uh, don't, don't do that. I'll meet you, okay? I thought you would see it my way. At the pier. Some trouble, Hank? No, no, no trouble. I just, uh, I have to go. Go? What do you mean, go? You didn't even say goodnight to Sheridan. What is it, a hot date? No, it's a different kind of date. It's one that I can't put off any longer, so... Are you sure you're not in some kind of trouble? Yes, I'm okay, all right? I'll see you later. All right, man. See you later. All right, Sheridan. It's time to put an end to this once and for all. Well, I admire you for following your heart. I just hope you realize that things are going to get a lot worse before they get better. And believe me, I know. I think I can get my mother on my side and... Well, and then handle father and grandfather. No, I don't just mean our family. I'm talking about Luis. He's going to go ballistic. Well, then I'll tell Luis as soon as possible. Just be careful. He has a horrible temper, especially when a crane is involved. I've seen his temper in action, but he has to be told. Look, Sheridan, it will be all right. I mean, once he sees how much I love Teresa, he'll be okay. If you say so. So what's happening with you and Luis anyway? I don't know where we are. I'm so confused. We were really starting to get closer. You know, but then I overheard him saying something to Hank, that he was denying that he ever used me. But I saw him and I heard him, and I can't get that out of my head. I understand. You know, I'm having a real battle between my head and my heart. My heart tells me that I should trust Luis and that I should believe him. But my head... I just can't stop thinking about what he said about using me. Sheridan, I don't know what to tell you. But you, know, you either forget about what you heard and move on, or forget about Luis. I guess we both have our problems, don't we? Yes, we do. But I don't want you to worry about mine. Look, it's, it's late. i let you get to bed. All right. Keep me posted. I will. Good night. Good night. Luis. You heard? Yeah, I heard. It's time we talked about this. All right, we're going to get this cleared up. Tonight. Teresa, you, you have to stop living in this dream world. Try to be a little more realistic. I am being realistic. You never thought that Ethan would fall in love with me, but he did, Mama. So you seem 